Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Field. Today we're going to talk about low frequency impedance. Now I'm going to put the word impedance in quotes so I don't get a lot of phone calls and letters, please. Impedance, we know, is the effective resistance in an electrical circuit. So what does resistance in an electrical circuit have to do with acoustics? You have to think of your room as an acoustical circuit. So it has a lot of similarities to electrical circuits. And what's the first thing you do in an electrical circuit when you want to restrict voltage, when you want to restrict certain things in the circuit, you use resistors, okay? So when you want to store energy, you use capacitors. We don't want to store any energy in our rooms. We want to absorb it and attenuate it and get rid of it because there's always too much. So our room is really an electrical circuit. So how do we deal with low frequency pressure in an electrical circuit, we offer resistance, okay? Just like impedance in an electrical circuit, we're going to offer resistance in our technology to absorb low frequency energy. How do we do that? Diaphragmatic absorption. What is diaphragmatic absorption? It is a diaphragm by definition, which is the front wall. It is a cabinet, certain density, and then inside the cabinet is a fill material. So the depth of the cabinet determines the resident frequency at which the cabinet moves, okay? So it determines the cutoff point in which things are absorbed. If we have a resident frequency of 40 cycles, energy above 40 cycles will be absorbed, energy below 40 cycles will not be. So we can design the cabinet depth to accommodate the particular resident frequency we want to tune for in the room, okay? so. The depth gives us resident frequency. In our units, we use two walls that are, that are not related and out of phase. So when the sound pressure strikes the two front walls, it slows the energy down, resistance, okay? Just like impedance in an electrical circuit. So we're offering resistance to that low pressure wave. Then the wave slows down, enters the inside of the cavity, which is full of our carbon. We have 65, 70 pounds of carbon, I think, in each one of our ACDA units. So the inside of the cabinet is a completely different pressure domain, different atmospheric pressure. So then the wave goes into this pressure reduced area. I won't call it a vacuum, but in this pressure reduced area, and then it's attenuated because it's a pressure reduction. The pressure inside the cabinet is different than the pressure outside. So we slow it down, get it inside the cabinet, reduce it, and what happens? Some is absorbed, some is reflected back into the room, and some goes through the cabinet completely. Because remember, low frequency energy, it's difficult to stop. So we offer resistance with the dual front wall. We slow the wave down. We absorb it inside the cabinet, and that's how we get that 2 dB attenuation for every 10 square feet. So diaphragmatic absorption gives us resistance, which gives us the low frequency performance that we get inside the unit. So similar, think of your room as an electrical circuit. The thing to learn from this is that everything is related. So we have to be very careful about what we do in one area because we impact the rest. So I hope this helps. I hope it helps you understand diaphragmatic absorption because diaphragmatic absorption works on sound pressure, not air movement or air velocity, molecular velocity, which is the middle and high frequency. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video, and if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. We also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to, so please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter. And then don't forget about our forum. We have started a forum on our own website where people ask questions, and I usually get a chance every couple days to look at it. There's an interchange between people on the forum, and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis, so that'll help you. Thank you.